All right, starting off here first with a pretty noticeable and extreme type of mint error. We have a huge broad strike out of collar. Uh, you know, you don't need a microscope or anything to see a mint error like this. Pretty uh, noticeable, of course. This coin ended up selling for over $280. The 1981 Jefferson Nickel that is graded at a mint state 66 by PCGS. Next up is a 1981 Roosevelt dime that has been double struck with that second strike being 95% off center. Of course, we see that there at the top of the dime. Now this coin is graded by Annex at a mint state 64 and this dime ended up selling for around $60 at auction. Here is a 1981 Lincoln cent that has been double struck as well, just like the dime with that strike being 95% off center. You'll see that there to the left side of the penny. This coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 63 brown ended up selling for over $140. Moving right along to a 1981 Lincoln Cent, no mint mark, that has a major die break. So if we zoom in here to the top of the coin, you'll see that die break, that cud there, going over Lincoln's head. Now you can look for these on all kinds of different coins. Like I say in my other videos, these can be much smaller than this. They can be much larger and take up you know, a large portion of the coin. It all just depends on what coin it's taking place on, how large it is, the placement of the cud. Things like that will uh, determine the coin's value. Of course, the grade, the condition of the coin. This is graded at a mint state 63 red brown. This penny sold for around $55. So not really making much money on something like that. You know, if you spend, I don't know, 30 bucks to have this graded, 20 or 30 bucks from Annex, you know, $55 coin. So you can see it's not much profit there. Now here's a 1981 Kennedy half dollar coin where the obverse has been struck through a late staged capped die. Now you can look for die caps on pennies, nickels, all kinds of different coins, not just half dollars. You see the reverse looks very normal. This coin ended up selling for over $135 at auction. Now here's a 1981 Jefferson nickel where the obverse has been struck through a capped split die. That's why you kind of see that line there in the middle. Uh, this coin ended up selling for around $300 at auction. It is graded by NGC at a mint state 66. Now here's another 1981 Lincoln cent that has an obverse brockage and a partial collar. Uh, partial collar you'll see around the rim of the coin. Of course the brockage there is pretty noticeable taking up a good portion of the coin there. Uh, this penny is graded at a mint state 64 brown. So your pennies will either grade at a brown, red brown, or red. Red being the best, of course. This coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 64, sold for around $175 at auction. Now here's a 1981S mint mark. So this will be the proof Roosevelt dime. So this is what you would see in like a proof set. This isn't the regular business strike dime that you see in your everyday pocket change. The coin has been double struck and it also has an obverse indent, uh, which we can clearly see here in the images displayed. This coin graded by NGC at a proof 68 ultra cameo ended up selling for over $2,100. A $2,000 dime there. And if we look at the reverse here, you can really see the double strike. You'll see the outline of Roosevelt there here on the reverse as we zoom in there. And then here on the obverse, if we look at the top of the hair there, you'll, you'll see the design from the reverse and we'll see that there on the neck as well of Roosevelt. So you can look for double strikes without it being a proof coin or having a large indent like this on other coins. Here is another indent mint error coin. Uh, this is the 1981 Lincoln cent that is graded at a mint state 64 red brown. This coin sold for around $50 at auction. So nothing extremely valuable, but it's a $50 penny. Now here is a 1981 P mint mark Jefferson nickel that was struck 15% off center, graded at a mint state 63. This coin ended up selling for a little over $30 at auction. And then here's an off-center penny from 1981, struck 70% off-center. This coin ended up selling for over $130 at auction. Here is another off-center coin, the 1981 Kennedy half dollar coin. This coin is graded by Annex at a mint state 62. And this half dollar coin ended up selling for around $200. Here's another off-center Jefferson Nickel, the 1981 P mint mark struck 45% off-center. This coin ended up selling for over $430 at auction, graded at a mint state 64. I'm surprised by that price, graded by Annex. 
Now here is a 1981P mint mark Jefferson nickel that has been struck onto a one cent planchet. So we have the Jefferson nickel design struck onto a Lincoln planchet. That's why it has the copper color to it. Uh, this coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 65 red brown ended up selling for over $2,500. That's right, a $2,000 nickel there. Now here's a 1981 Jefferson nickel that has a shattered obverse die. So the die is what comes down with the design on it. It has the design at the bottom of the die. It comes down and strikes the planchet and uh, strikes the design onto the planchet, right? This is graded by NGC at a mint state 60, by the way. So that die was uh, a shattered. So that is the result. It has that shattered obverse there uh, on this Jefferson nickel. So this coin ended up selling for a little over $400 at auction. Now here is a clipped coin, a uh, triple curved clipped. It's the 1981D mint mark Lincoln cent, uh, graded by PCGS at a mint state 63 red brown. This coin ended up selling for over $155. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.